In RPG Maker MZ, tilesets are used to define the graphics used in maps, as well as their collisions and other properties. Using the Tileset tab in the database, you can view which tilesets are set up by default in a new game project. You can also click Change Maximum to add space for new ones. The mode can be adjusted for each different tileset to change how certain tile layering works. In general, world type is best suited to overworld tilesets, and area type works best for towns, houses, dungeons, etc. The A tiles are usually the lowest layer of tile. A1 to A4 are what are known as auto tiles, which are special tiles that are set up in a particular format so that the edges and corners are drawn by the engine when you place two or more tiles next to each other. You can set up each tile's properties by selecting what to edit on the right. Passage lets you set a tile to one of three types. An O symbol which lets events walk through a tile, the X symbol which stops events from walking through, and a star symbol that lets an event walk through and appear under a tile. Passage 4 direction allows you to fine-tune the passability of the A5, B, C, D and E tile sets by changing whether a player can step off or onto them from specific directions. This works well for things like cliff tiles. Ladder lets you lock the player into facing upwards when standing on this tile, as if they were climbing a ladder. Bush causes half of an event standing on the tile to become half transparent. This works well for long grass or swamps. It's also an effect seen in retro RPGs when the player walks through a forest on the overworld. When a tile is set to counter, the player can interact with events on the other side of this tile. This works well for tables and desks, for example when interacting with a shopkeep or an inn. The damage floor tag will cause an actor to receive damage when they step on the tile. Lastly, the terrain tag can be used to assign a value between 0 and 7. This value can be retrieved by the get location info event command, which can be useful for advanced eventing. Thanks for watching, and happy game developing!